Okay, what's up? This is Keith Kelfus, and in this video training, we're gonna talk about the rubber, meeting the road, and making money. How do you monetize? How do you make money? By creating free content online, driving people into your funnel, and then eventually, as soon as possible, and even immediately, offering them something for sale that they can buy, or you can get paid. Because if you don't charge money and you don't monetize your message, and you can't share your message with more and more people, the money fuels the message, right? Without money, your message doesn't go anywhere. The money allows your message to um, go on and on and on. You can learn about more about that in a book by Brennan Burchard called Me uh, um, The Millionaire Messenger. Okay, an amazing book. You can listen on audible.com. So, you've got your podcast, you've got your YouTube channel, you're posting stuff on Twitter, Pinterest, um, Instagram, and you're putting out all this, this free content, and maybe you have a social media manager or uh, a virtual assistant that you've hired on Upwork.com, that's where I hire mine, UPWRK.com, um, to... Maybe someone who edits your podcast, like my, my, my um, social media manager in Asia, every time uh, inside of the Upwork app and the Messenger, I'm done with a YouTube video or one of my podcasts, I just send her the link, then she goes in, she goes into um, Libsyn, L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com, is the podcast hosting platform that I pay $15 a month for. And then from Libsyn's dashboard, you can plug in YouTube, SoundCloud, Speaker, iTunes, and all these different other podcast show directory platforms. And it's a content distribution platform. So what that means is you plug in the tokens of all these other sites. When you upload your podcast show and type in all the show notes with the tags, and get it all ready, you've edited it, it's uploaded to the master site, which is Libsyn. There's a couple of them out there. There's like Blur, Blurber, I don't know. I just use Libsyn. It's a very popular one, right? Then when you launch it live or you schedule it to go live on a schedule, as soon as it goes live, it goes and it posts it to all these other platforms at once. So I have a social media assistant in Asia, and she's very good. I'm not going to tell you who she is. I'll tell him who she is. <laughs> and she's, Sorry. She's only 12 bucks an hour. And wow. so she can literally do one podcast for five bucks. So I have thousands of people listening to my stuff all across the world and all these different platforms for five dollars per podcast. Man, that's amazing. And if you try to do this stuff yourself, it might take you just, you know, 15, 20 minutes. But 15, 20 minutes... You could have created a whole podcast at the time. When you get into this stuff, your time is very, very valuable. And as soon as you monetize, you reinvest it back in. You can do it yourself in the beginning so you know how to do it. And so you know how to do it, then you hand it off to somebody else. It's good that you learn how to do it yourself so then you know how to inspect what you expect and you know they're doing their job. But basically, uh, when you plug it into the distribution platform like Libsyn.com, if you choose to do a podcast and you, and you put it out there, now you got all this free content going out. You got your podcast. Maybe you've created a list, and then in, in, in uh, later we're going to talk about creating the Dream 100 list and how you you, you expand your platform uh, a lot bigger. But I want to talk about making money quickly. So your funnel, your website, you bring people in, and you give them the free gift, which is the PDF download, the five strains of medical marijuana that um, relieve anxiety and all these things, right? Once you send them to the landing page on Kajabi where they enter their name and email address to get the free gift to their email inbox and they're now on the, your email list, instead of just sending them emails for the next forever, you can offer them something right then and there immediately. So it's just called... Um, a thank you page is whenever you put a name and email or you buy something, it'll go, thank you so much. Your free gift is in your email inbox. Later. And then you leave and you check your email and you get it. Well, here's the self-liquidating offer. 
you make them an, a quick offer. They enter their name and email and they click here to get the free download, but instead of sending them the download immediately, it bumps them to an, a one-time offer. Now here's what we call OVO and OTO. So write down OVO is opt-in, email opt-in, you know they're opting in with their email, legally opting in, they're giving you permission to email them as well. OVO means opt-in value offer. The opt-in, then you give them value, which is the free gift, or in the form of videos, or whatever. You give them value, this is the ethical bribe, in exchange for the email, OVO, opt-in value offer. Now you make them an offer. And the offer, the first offer, the first time you ever try to sell them something, it's a low ticket item called a tripwire offer. A tripwire means it's a low barrier to entry, low priced ticket item from $7 to 37, 47 bucks. It could be 97 bucks, but that's maybe if you're in like the legal professional field and it's like, you know, like really stuff like that. It can be, I'd say a safe bet it could be an entry level program for 47 bucks, right? Now, price is in direct correlation to value and quality. If you're selling something really cheap, people might not want to buy it because it looks cheap and they're like, well, what, what value am I going to get for something that's only, you know, seven bucks? If you come right out of the gate and you have really high quality information and you're immediately and, and you're positioning yourself as somebody who's super white coat or white collar or super professional and then they go to buy something from you and your shit's like seven bucks or 19 bucks they're like what is this i don't want I don't, I don't i don't got time to be spending seven bucks on some seven dollar information i'm trying to spend you know ninety seven dollars or i'm ready for the the whole enchilada right now i I'm, i want to spend they wouldn't dare spend such a little money because their time is more valuable and they they associate value with money so this is where you're creating perception value perception and price transparency if the, if you're selling something like for a thousand bucks then like okay if this if this guy has if he's charging a thousand bucks for this then it must be good and he knows what he's talking about he believes in what he's selling because it it's a thousand bucks. Does it make it wouldn't be? Does it make sense? Yes. When when you see something online that costs a lot, you immediately think, well, dude, it must be worth it. Does it make sense? So be very careful and cognizant of who your audience is, and what their buying demographic is, and what they're used to. I sell landscaping courses. I have a landscaping channel. I own a landscaping business, and I sell low tier entry level products for thirty seven bucks. If I put my little how to start a landscaping business for broke guys stuck in a dead end nine to five job and I was selling it for like $500. I wouldn't make any money because they don't even have the money because there's two criteria for people that are buying your stuff online. Number one is they have to be willing to buy. And number two, they have to be able to buy. So if you are selling like you're into video games and you're in your audience for some reason is like 15 year old kids, right? And you sell them this cool video game thing or software that teaches them tricks and hacks and codes of how to master, sorry, there's a loud air conditioning unit, how to master this video game thing could be really valuable and they really want to buy it and thousands of them want to buy it, but they're fucking 15. They don't even have a credit card. They're not even able to buy and you're like, what? So that's all the criteria is willing to buy and able to buy, but like, if there are people who've already got money and they're already established and they're listening to you and you're attracting that type of audience, you shouldn't dare offer them something as low as like $17. You should come right out of the gate, 47, 67, 97, 197. So your tripwire offer, I just wanted to cover all that real quick. You have to find out what it is for you and you should always be changing your prices and testing because if you're selling something right out of the gate for 37 bucks, it's selling pretty decent. Ooh, maybe maybe I'll sell more if I lower the price to 17 bucks. You start selling less. If you raise the price from 37 up to $77 or 67, you might actually start selling more of it. Wow. Because people's value perception went up just because you adjusted the price. So never get stuck in your price because the price of directly affects 
um, conversion rates, right? Okay, so here's how it is. I know I'm talking a lot, but listen. So, free PDF download. End of podcast. They go to the opt-in page and enter their name and email address to get the five strains of medical marijuana, and then they're bumped to the offer page. It can be a video of you or it can be copy. It's better if it's a video and you say, hey, thank you so much. Your free gift of the five strains of medical marijuana is being sent to your email inbox. It'll be there in about five minutes. But before you go there, I want to ask you a question. What if you could figure out how to permanently eliminate this problem or challenge in your life? And what if you could do this within the next 30 days without pulling your hair out and we can get started right now. I want to introduce you to my program and this program is going to show you right here and it's a $97 program. So so what did I do here? If you just bump them to an offer and you say, hey, what if you could eliminate this pain in the next 30 days? We can get this thing handled right now. They'd be like, well, what about my free gift? You're a shyster. You, you just literally just, what's it? Yeah. You literally just shyster me. You got my name and email. You didn't give me my free gift. And I, no, no, no. That's why you got to give them notice. Congratulations. Your free gift is on its way to your email inbox. It'll be there in about five minutes. You can go get it right now. But before you go there, I want to ask you a question. You don't just start selling. I want to ask you a question. What if you could eliminate or fix this problem in, in your life, this pain, this thing, this, I don't, I don't know what it is for you. And you could do it within the next 30 days. You give them a time frame, right? Quantify it or less, 30 days or less with my five step system that you can get started on right now. Is that your phone? Yeah. And it's called my Um, my mojo method. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. So when you name this thing, it's my mojo method. It's my entry level program. And let me tell you that for instance, um, John Jacobs is one of my clients. He got the mojo method and he did this. Uh, Alice in Wonderland, she got the method. And you start talking about case stories and testimonials and building anticipation. And then if you click the link below, just tap the link below and you can get it right now. It's a digital program it, 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 and it consists of six 30 minute audios, uh, two meditations, uh, six PDF downloads and a work order program. And you can get all of this right now. Um, and the cool thing is, my coaching is $250 an hour if you were to work with me one-on-one -on -one personally. But since I plan on selling this to many people, I, I really wanted to pack the most value so you can get it. You're going to get it right now for only 97 bucks. And the cool thing is, um, you got 30 full days. You get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you decide that you don't like it within 30 days, send me an email. I'll give you a 100% money-back guarantee. There's no risk on you, uh, no questions asked, and I'll let you keep the program just as my way of saying thank you. But if not, go to your email inbox and you can get the five-step free thing. So what you did is you created an offer for them, yes. and then they have a chance to buy it right now. This is why it's called a self-liquidating offer because if you get to the point where you're spending ad money, like on Instagram and right. Facebook ads and YouTube ads and you're paying, yes. then, oh, here, I'll wrap this video up right here. Problem. If you're paying for ads, you want to, those ad costs to be covered. Yes. So you take that money and then you can spend that and roll that back in your ad spend to more and more and more people can see it. So you're advertising now that page. So, all right, cool. I'll see you in the next video. We're going to talk about how to do that. Okay. We're going to talk about how